Welcome to the Windmill third video. This one is how to make our homemade cheesecake. I've had many requests. This one is for Julie, Jessica, Lauren and Karen. So what I'm going to be making today is our homemade strawberry cheesecake and the ingredients are here. We have one packet of standard digestives, we have four ounces of butter, we have 500 grams of cream cheese, soft cream cheese, I have three quarters of a pint of double cream, I have 200 grams of ice and sugar, I have 200 to 300 grams of the fruit I'm putting in, in this case it's strawberries, and one fruit flavoured jelly, in this case strawberry. Now we shall begin. First thing I'm going to do is I want to blitz my digestives. These got to be blitzed up into a fine powder. For this I'm going to use my blitzer. I'm just going to pour these in here. Lid on. Okay, so as you can see I've got they're all blitzed up and they're going to go towards to make my base. Okay, so now I've got my digestive biscuits ready for the base. To this I need to add my melted butter. Obviously this is solid at the moment, so I'm going to melt this simply by putting it in the microwave. Quickest way to melt it and it's the easiest way to melt it. It's my butter, been melted, as I say, in the microwave, no fuss. So I'm going to add my biscuits to my bowl. And to that I'm going to mix in my melted butter. And I'm going to mix that round until it's all basically coated. And a good test of this to make sure you've got it the right consistency is just to pick some up, squeeze it together and it needs to hold. Okay so now I've got my biscuits ready, they're in with my melted butter all mixed round. I now need to transfer them into my tin to make create the base. But to do this first I need to make a lining. We take a piece of grease proof, uh, baking parchment, we fold it in half we fold it in half again and then we go to make a triangle so we fold it once we fold it twice and there we have a folded piece of baking parchment and to get my circle I put my centre to the edge roughly take a pair of scissors and cut And this hopefully will give me a perfect circle to which I'm going to put in the base and as you can see it fits pretty perfect. Okay Julie, you got it all so far? I hope so. Now I'm going to put my biscuits into my base and I'm basically just going to spoon them in like so. Okay, so we need to get a nice smooth top on the, on the base and what I'm going to use is a back of a dessert spoon and basically all you do is you run the, you run the dessert spoon over, just keep coming down nicely and it will slowly compact the digestive and make it all nice and smooth and level at the same time. Now we're moving on to the top part of the cheesecake and this is the fun part and this is where you don't lick your fingers Julie. Yeah? What I'm taking is my half pint of cream or three quarters of a pint of cream. I'm going to pour this in. I want to whisk this so I want to get it up to a reasonable thick stage. Not over whipped but not under whipped. So, I whip my cream till it's a soft peak consistency and to this I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. Now I'm going to add my cream cheese. And that goes straight in. I'm going to add some ice and sugar. You need to be careful when you add the ice and sugar because uh, 
you will get some power to fly up. And then we're going back on to a soft whisk. So the cheesecake's whisked up and in there I've got my cream, my cream cheese and my ice and sugar. This is quite a thick mix and that's basically what I'm looking for at this stage. To this I'm going to add my fruit and my jelly. So now I'm going to get ready to put in my fruit but I need to mash up the strawberries just a little bit to start with just to get some of the juices going and get them into the cheesecake. You'll note that I've left some strawberries behind. This is for the fruit coolers which is going to go on the plate to decorate at the, at the end. So here we are, just taking a fork and I'm going to mush them up just slowly to get some of the juices going. So now I've pureed my fruit a little bit. The reason why I didn't blitz them is because I didn't want to make a puree. I needed them, just some juices coming out but you've still got the texture of the strawberry. To this, this goes into my mix. And there we are. Okay, so I need to melt my jelly. I'm gonna do this in a microwave and I'll just put a little bit of water in here. You can see there's hardly any water in there. I'm simply gonna melt this in the microwave until it's all melted and done. So it's been melted and this is the consistency you're after. So now it's melted, it's going into my cheesecake mix like so. I'm gonna bring it down and I'm gonna mix this round on a low speed and let it all mix in. Okay, so I've got my base out of the fridge. It's nicely set. And this is ready to receive the topping, which we've made, which is here. And that's the consistency you're after. So I'm just basically gonna spoon this, quite simply. And at this point, Julie, when you're at home in your kitchen, you can lick the bowl out. It is too good to throw away, to be honest. Okay, so I've got the mix on the top of the biscuit base in the cheesecake. Now, I want to smooth it round, but I don't want it to be perfectly smooth. I want to get a nice little pattern going on here, so it looks homemade, at least. So when you've got it all round nicely and level, you can then just a nice little wave, doesn't matter how, done. So now the cheesecake is complete, Jessica, Lauren, Karen, check this out, very nice. All that needs to finish it off is goes in the fridge to set and that could take anything from 10 to 20 minutes. Okay, so now I'm going to come to the finishing touches to the cheesecake. At the windmill we plate up a dessert and often decorate it with a twill biscuit. My twill mix is here. Now a twill biscuit is very light and it doesn't take a lot of cooking but you do need to make a stencil. You cut your desired shape out of a piece of plastic and that will do you. We spread the twill biscuit over this onto my baking parchment and here we go. So I've got a bit of bit of twill on my palette knife, not too much. I'm going to put it in at the bottom and I'm basically going to scrape it across the top. So I've covered my stencil, lift it off and there we have my desired shape. So I've done my twills, I've got them in the stencil, I've got them the shape I need, I now need to bake them in the oven. These are going to go into an oven, not too hot, moderate, for about 10 to 15 minutes or until they just go golden brown. So we're going to place them on a baking sheet. And at this point, I'll transfer them in the oven and leave them to cook. So here's my twill biscuits out of the oven, and you can see they're just a nice even colour. And they are quite brittle, and they are fragile, so you have to be careful with them. But there we are. Perfect. And they've set nice and crisp. And they'll keep crisp in an airtight container. Okay, so I'm now going on to the finishing touches of the cheesecake. This is for uh, the coolis, which I want to decorate the plate with. I'm going to do this through a strainer, or you can use a blitzer. But if you use the blitzer, it's then got to go through a strainer as well. But I'm just going to put mine straight through a strainer, and that will be done. 
Okay. So into it I've got some mixed berries. The remainder of my strawberries. And some ice and sugar. Take a small ladle and with the base of the ladle we're looking at pushing it through so it's nice circular mo movements round the sieve and slowly but surely that'll all pass through. So you're ending up with just the fruit puree and that is it. So the fruit coolers is done. However, if it's come out a little bit too thick, what you can do is take it down with a little bit of white wine. Here I'm using a very nice Chardonnay. Just a little drop in there, mix it round, and there we go. And there's your coolers. Beautiful. Nice flavour, nice colour. Okay, so now I've come to the end, and now I'm going to plate the dish and finish it. And this is how we would normally do something like this at the windmill. So I've got my cheesecake which is made. It's on the plate. I'm going to take some of my coolers. Just put a spoon for it. Now I've got some whipped cream in a bowl. This is whipped double cream. I want to get a nice smooth ball of cream on my plate. To do that, we use a ice cream scoop, which has been in boiling water. You can see it's fairly hot. And then we're basically going to scoop round, keep coming round the bowl, like so, and then just tap it onto the plate. And there we go. Okay, you remember the strawberries I left off? I'm going to put a couple of strawberries on here because it is a strawberry cheesecake and perhaps two at the end of the plate here and then take one of my twill biscuits and then face it like so and there we are.